I'm here today to talk to you about a complete stretch mark solution, which will enable you to get rid of your stretch marks for good. So, if you're looking for a safe and easy way to make your stretch marks go away, disappear, fade, or be less visible, this video is for you. If you want smooth, silky skin without the unsightly bumps and discolorations, again, this video is for you. If you've been suffering for years from embarrassment and discomforts caused by stretch marks, you owe it to yourself to watch this video through to the end. This could be the life-changing solution you've been searching for. Well, it's important for you to understand what stretch marks are. Stretch marks, or striae, as they are called in dermatology, are a form of scarring on the skin with an off-color hue. They are caused by tearing of the dermis, which over time may diminish, but will not disappear completely. The largest organ of your body is the skin. It literally covers and stretches from our head to our toes. It is flexible and pliable and moves and morphs with us. Think of what happens to it when a woman gets pregnant. As we grow taller, wider, heavier, older, it changes and transforms along with us. It responds, and sometimes, as the fibers that connect cells and tissue reach their maximum elasticity, they break, tear, rip, and leave dreaded markings, edges, bumps, scaly scars on the surface of our epidermis or the outer layers of our skin. And that's what's called stretch marks. Yes, we've all seen them, touched them, tried to smooth them out at some point. Their presence is undeniable, for us to dread and others to frown upon and take notice. We've had to cope with them in some way, shape, or form at different stages of our lives. When it comes to stretch marks, most people assume that only heavy people or pregnant women get them. This isn't even close to the truth. Basically, age and weight fluctuations play a very large role in who and who is not going to get stretch marks, in who is going to get stretch marks and who isn't. Other factors like genetics and hormones can influence who suffers from stretch marks as well. Contrary to popular belief, women aren't the only ones that suffer from stretch marks. There are many men that suffer from them too, hiding those stretch marks with boxers or long shorts. Stretch marks occur anywhere and everywhere on the body. They often occur as our weight fluctuates. They are the result of expansion, contraction, and stretching of the skin. As our body changes, skin fibers, cells, membranes, and walls get pulled and stretched beyond capacity until they give and break. Both men and women battle this ongoing war. Our skin shows and tells the story and paths of our lives. Stretch marks are physical evidence of this process that we do not want, but we have to deal with. We conceal and camouflage. We try to get rid of them through diet, through exercise, topical treatments, and other interventions. Now let me ask you this. Are you feeling embarrassed because you have stretch marks? Are you hiding and concealing your stretch marks? Are you looking for makeup solutions to cover your stretch marks? Are you feeling dirty and scarred? Are you denying and ignoring your stretch marks? Do you wish you could wake up one morning and they'd be gone? Do you spend fortunes on different topical treatments that don't work? Do you want to get rid of those stretch marks, or at least make them less visible? Do you want your old smooth and shiny skin back? And since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're looking for a way to safely and naturally get rid of your stretch marks, right? As a cosmetic dermatologist, I can tell you this. Conventional stretch mark procedures are painful, time-consuming, and costly. And their impact and consequences you might not always have bargained on, budgeted for, or counted among possibilities or risks. Peel-type treatments can be painful and have to be taken repeatedly and outside of most household or personal budgets to be realistic and viable. Plastic and cosmetic surgery, invasive procedures are still an upscale option for those who can scrape together the dollars to get the job done. The results, however, will vary, and there are no guarantees. As things stand today, there is no one surefire way to totally correcting and getting rid of stretch marks. Well, almost nothing, but we'll get to that in a minute. If you have stretch marks, 
You'd know that they are not dangerous, they don't hurt, and they're certainly not life-threatening. But what's often overlooked is the emotional or the psychological side of it. Chronic stress, unhappiness about one's body, can lead to clinical depression. I get many emails describing how stretch marks ruined life, made someone isolated and depressed, sometimes to the point of being suicidal. Nobody talks about it much. Psychologists and dermatologists seem to underestimate and ignore the effects of stretch marks on mental health, and those afflicted do not talk about it because they feel ashamed to admit that a harmless skin imperfection is destroying their lives. Don't get me wrong, and I don't blame stretch mark afflicted people when they become depressed. Not at all. I totally understand it. It is extremely difficult to withstand the competitive environment we're in. Take a look at this particular email I got from one of my patients. Hi, Justin. I am covered in stretch marks, and I'm only 19. After obesity, anorexia, depression, and over-exercising, there's no way that I could get out of this unscathed. I absolutely hate myself. I try to live and love myself, but it's impossible. I'm not ugly. But when you live feeling pressured to be perfect, like those people on TV, it's impossible to feel okay about yourself. I've tried to commit suicide several times, only because of my stretch marks, and people tell me to accept myself, but it's truly hard. When I feel a bit happy, I see girls with beautiful bodies, showing their arms and legs, and I feel useless. I try to find a job, but it's pointless. I always feel useless compared to other girls who work with me. Point is that I'll never be like them, and I've already given up living. Sometimes I feel like having cancer is easier to live with than living with stretch marks. I have never been kissed or allowed myself to have a social life because I feel like I don't deserve it. And I always think that other people will laugh at me, etc. I hope no one feels the way I do. Gina D. Well, this is just one example of how the psychological aspect can make stretch marks a potentially harmful condition. And the above email is sort of like the so-called turning point for me. I've had enough of people suffer through the same emotional vulnerabilities and depression as Gina, and a number of my other patients did. Let me tell you here and now that there are natural ways to treat, minimize, and deal effectively with stretch marks.